very little about this location when we first acquired it. We knew that according to the famous Elliott burial map, this was one of the mass burial sites from the Civil War in 1863. This area was known as No Man's Land, where the streets ran red with blood. Six thousand acres, that's how big Gettysburg National Park is. Massive, majestic, but sobering. Walking its grounds, you can feel the pain and suffering that Union and Confederate soldiers dealt with during three grueling days of intense and bloody fighting in July of 1863 during the Civil War. All that pain and suffering has made this hallowed ground a paranormal hotspot. While the park is haunted, so are the houses and businesses that are just outside its gates. Gettysburg's a lot like that because still with 10,000 soldiers on account for it, there are grave sites everywhere. And just put the houses right up over top of them. Chop pulverized on upside down. We were kind of getting very uh, specific. Were you a soldier in the Civil War? The Unexplained Cases team hooked up with paranormal investigator Dan Kulik from Gettysburg Paranormal Association, Gettysburg Ghost Tours, plus guest investigators Brian and Jen Miller yet again. We had the task of documenting paranormal activity in the South Washington Street home. Um, the young lady who bought this house actually bought it to renovate it into an Airbnb. Uh -huh. She's in the process of ripping out the kitchen, ripped up the, the carpets that were here, but for some weird reason, renovations also stir up paranormal uh -huh. activity. You're changing your environment, you're changing yep. your Ooh, everything around them and changing their, their home, so it kind of stirs up activity. But before we could figure out who those spirits were, we needed a history lesson from Dan about this area. Here in this home, we, we you know, it's along the Elliott Barrel map. You notice the National um, Battlefield Cemetery is right across the street over here. This is a kind of along the line of where Weinbrenner Run was, a stream that you know both armies were fighting over for that water on July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. You guys can't fight in 100 degrees July heat wearing 400 layers of wool on our horses without a significant supply of water. Up here on the hill on Cemetery Hill where the Union guys are, there's no water up there. The closest water is right here. Well, the Confederacy figures, well, if we take their water away, they can't keep fighting on that hill. They're all going to start dying of dehydration and falling over and get sick. And, well, we can just run them right off the hill if we just take their water supply away from them. That's what they did. A fight for water ends in death and despair. Soldiers killed, and for many of them, their final resting spot right underneath the homes of Gettysburg. So how is that possible, you might ask? And they didn't have the regulations like we do today. Now, if you want to dig a foundation, you have to do an archaeological dig site, permits, and a whole nine. Back then, it's put it up and if they didn't if they found human remains they buried them quicker than they found them so they just put the houses right up over top kind of the movie reporter guys so they got rid of the headstones and they put the housing plan right up over top of the head you know the, the grave sites gettysburg's a lot like that because still with 10,000 soldiers on account for it, there are grave sites everywhere and just put the houses right up over top of them now we had a pretty good idea why many Gettysburg neighborhoods are haunted. So Rick and I started in the basement where we hoped to make a connection on the other side via our spirit box. Yeah, that device allows ghosts to use white noise from radio frequencies to connect with the living. Is there anybody here with us? My name's Darren and this is Rick. Hello. What is your name? Were you a soldier in the Civil War? Are you a man or are you a woman? Are we talking to the gentleman that works down here? What is your name, sir? Unfortunately, we obtained no definitive proof of ghosts communicating with us. So upstairs we went to seek out the unexplained and this time, we documented some remarkable evidence about the person who might have met a tragic end is now haunting the South Washington Street house. The words from the ovulus were chilling. Upside down. Upside down? It's all right. Pulverized? Chop. Chop? Pulverized, hung upside down, we were kind of getting very uh, specific. I could have sworn she had some. I asked you, it was torture. torture. He said, sound like he said, tied up. Mm. So it sounds like he said, um, 
tied upside down, hung upside down, chopped. I asked him if he was caught. He kept saying I was an informant. And I was a tortured. Mm -hmm. Take a good look at Dan's hat. While we are conducting this ovulus session, a light anomaly appeared near it. At first, we thought it might be dust, but after studying its pattern, we determined it was something unexplained. So, not what I envisioned standing in an attic, 1940s home, all by myself. Now there's people downstairs, so it's not a big deal, but it is a creepy attic and I'm all by myself. Now it's just a hunch, but the person who was reaching out to us from the other side could have been a spy in the Civil War who was killed in a gruesome manner after being caught. We definitely got some interesting stuff on the, on the voice box. Yes, definitely. Uh, he especially here at this location. Uh, kept on talking about some type of informant. He said that about six times, I think he said mm -hmm. it. And uh, I think he was a, a spy. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what it came out to be, I think. So, was the ghost a spy who gave secrets to the enemy? What about a mob informant who was whacked for ratting out the boss? Well, it's impossible to tell, but... You can't put the South Washington Street house on the list with other hotspots in Gettysburg that are definitely haunted. Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Darren Dito.